Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Hi, I'm Shannon Sweeney. I've been a player or coach for most of my life, and I understand the need to keep our kids motivated and safe. As a parent and coach, I also understand the need to make sure our children are protected. That's why insurance is as an important part of the game as a good coach is. I've known my fellow coach, Wayne Dietz, for 10 years. I've seen him motivate and inspire players both on and off the floor. I've also seen him make sure that our children are safe by making sure that the teams are properly insured. As a coach, we don't often think about insurance, and when you work with Wayne and his team at DNH Risk Solutions, you won't have to. They take care of everything with honesty and integrity so that you can focus on what you do best, coaching your team to victory. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping tax dollars in our own community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by Brookside Florist, the Coffee Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, Healthy Times Market, h, h Auto Parts, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in, we're local. Good evening and welcome to Vernon Vibes. As always, it's my pleasure to be with you and have the opportunity to talk to you about what's happening here in Vernon Township and in your government. And I like to normally start with a, with a calendar of activities, but you know, this is the peak of the vacation time, I guess, because things are rather quiet. Um, the Historical Society is holding a four-day educational seminar for the youngsters. Um, but other than that, things are fairly quiet in Vernon Township, so uh, let's all enjoy it. Um, and. Uh, We'll be looking forward to that calendar picking up because in the very near future, of course, Labor Day will occur, children will be back to school, and of course, the political campaigns for the fall will begin. So we're looking forward to some fun with that as we move forward. But in the meantime, things are going well here in Town Hall. Uh, in our last issue, I spoke to you about the process of selecting a replacement for Chief Weary, and I want to report to you that that is moving forward. Uh, we anticipate uh, making an announcement as to uh, who uh, the chief's replacement will be in the not too distant future. There are a few other things that uh, need to be completed, uh, but that process is moving forward smoothly and I'm confident that uh, we'll be able to make a high quality decision in the not too distant future. Uh, we also uh, talked in the last issue about uh, what's happening with our roads and by the time you watch this edition of Vernon Vibes, you will know that uh, the evergreen section of Vernon Township has been completed. The uh, secondary and tertiary streets in uh, Pleasant Valley Lake have been completed and we have started on the patching and preparation of the streets in the Cliffwood Lake section of Vernon Township. Um, I'm happy with the way that program has gone. Um, we're bringing it in actually under budget which has allowed us to uh, to do some of the Cliffwood Lake work this year which we really didn't think we were going to be able to but um, Frankly, through, uh, through the hard work of Darren Maloney, our purchasing agent, through the, um, the contracts that we have with the uh, various suppliers through the Mars County and state um, uh, contracts, and through the efforts of Dave Pullis, our director of the DPW and his assistant, Gene Roos, and the people who do the job for us, we're going to be able to do more than we anticipated. And of course, that's to all of our benefit because the more we can do um, with the dollars that have been allotted, the better off we are. So I'm very pleased to announce that and, and to keep you apprised of what's going on with that. And when we come back after this break, we'll talk about some other very critical issues that we're facing here in the township. We'll be right back. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. 
Hi, I'm Shannon Sweeney. I've been a player or coach for most of my life, and I understand the need to keep our kids motivated and safe. As a parent and coach, I also understand the need to make sure our children are protected. That's why insurance is as an important part of the game as a good coach is. I've known my fellow coach, Wayne Dietz, for 10 years. I've seen him motivate and inspire players both on and off the floor. I've also seen him make sure that our children are safe by making sure that the teams are properly insured. As a coach, we don't often think about insurance, and when you work with Wayne and his team at DNH Risk Solutions, you won't have to. They take care of everything with honesty and integrity so that you can focus on what you do best, coaching your team to victory. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping tax dollars in our own community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by Brookside Florist, the Copy Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, Healthy Times Market, H&H &H Auto Parts, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in, we're local. Welcome back. At our most recent town council meeting, there was some uh, important information that I'd like to share with you. First and foremost, um, we have appointed a new member to the Vernon Township Police Department, Emmanuel Rivera comes to us with six and a half years experience uh, as a police officer and will be joining, as a matter of fact, by the time we do this, he will have been sworn in and will be uh, working as a Vernon Township policeman. This young man and his family have lived in Vernon for a long time and he has been a Patterson police officer, as I said, for six and a half years. We welcome him and his family to the Vernon Township family. We know that he'll be a very, very good addition uh, to our police department, so we're excited about that. In addition, um, I mentioned to you in the last show that, in fact, um, we were, uh, the town council had, um, had taken the steps to uh, recognize those veterans in Vernon Township that, in fact, have been declared uh, totally disabled. And we have taken the necessary steps to, in fact, comply with the federal and state law, which uh, means, basically, that those people do not pay property tax. As I called out to you in the last meeting, uh, that process is now complete. The checks have been issued to those individuals that were due refunds, and uh, uh, that action actually passed the town council on a four-to-one vote with uh, Councilman Dan Kadish voting against returning that money to our veterans. Further, in the last meeting, the town council uh, actually um, uh, approved further in-rem foreclosure proceedings. That, that uh, uh, program is picking up pace. And we are, in fact, uh, moving forward with auctions of those properties that we've taken title to. Uh, the word is obviously getting out, so I'd like to remind all of you again uh, that if there's a vacant lot next to you that you know uh, is now owned by Vernon Township or may very well be subject to that because of tax certificates, please let us know, and uh, we certainly will move the foreclosure proceedings so that we can make this program pick up even more momentum. It's been a very good one and we'd like to see it grow even uh, quicker. We also have uh, uh, authorization uh, to uh, settle the condemnation action that was required by the repair at the intersection of uh, Route 517, Maple Grange Road, and Lonsbury Road. You may recall that there were um, some rights of way, or, or I should say some property, that we needed to acquire uh, for the improvement to the road, two pieces of the property that were actually in foreclosure, and so we had to, in fact, negotiate with the banks that were uh, holding um, uh, the titles to the property. That has all been completed, and um, the necessary paperwork now will be concluded, and that project will be finally closed, and the books will be closed on it. We also appointed our new chief financial officer at the past, uh, at our past council meeting, and Elka Yetter uh, was approved unanimously by the town council. Uh, she brings um, uh, great credentials to the job, as I've mentioned in the past. Elka is a, uh, a lifelong Sussex County resident, um, presently lives in Hardiston Township, Pri previously uh, prior to coming to work for Vernon Township. She has uh, her CPA. She is a certified public accountant, and now she's a certified financial officer certified by the state of New Jersey. 
We're happy to have her on board. Elka has been with us, as a matter of fact, as our treasurer over the past year and a half and has done a f a f just a phenomenal job. And of course, corollary to that, Mr. Bill Zuckerman has moved into the business administrator's role and he's doing a great job there too. So I'm happy to report to the people in Vernon that these transitions have gone smoothly. Our business is being handled as it always does in a professional manner. And we can look forward to a, a, a very, very a well oiled working team as we move now um, with, uh, with a lot of concentration into the creation of the 2014 budget for the municipal government. There, was, there were two bookkeeping resolutions that had to do with the FEMA grant for the radios. Now, that has all been taken care of. We also had a ordinance introduced on first reading. That ordinance is an ordinance to authorize the purchase of various equipment and repairs um, in and by uh, for the township, uh, appropriating a sum of $75,000 and providing that such sum shall be raised from the capital improvement fund of the township. And in addition, um, we will be raising $140,000 for the purchase of a new dump truck that I've spoken to you about in the past. Uh, the, the breakdown was such that we couldn't repair it in 1999 International. So the ordinance that we needed for that has, uh, has occurred, and uh, there'll be a second reading at the next um, town council meeting. We'll be moving forward with the uh, construction of the new playground area at Maple Grange. And uh, while I'm on that subject, I've had some questions from residents about what's happening with the playground on the flats. Uh, we are minimally maintaining it at the present time for several reasons. That playground no longer meets the safety standards that is required uh, by our insurer. And secondly, we are building a completely new playground, a full playground at the Maple Grange facility. Ultimately, the playground at the, uh, at the Veterans Memorial Field will be taken down uh, for the time being, for those people who had a question about it, we will maintain it, but it will be done in a minimal fashion, as is the case with the basketball courts as well. Um, the last thing that I would like to report to you is that there were two appointments that I put forward to the council at the last meeting. The first was Gloria Fredo Sr., who was appointed to the Senior Citizens Committee, and she was unanimously approved. And Mr. Roy S. Tanfield was appointed as alternate number one to the Vernon Municipal Utility Authority. The members and the, and the uh, residents of the Great Gorge Village now have representation on the Vernon MUA. That also was approved unanimously by the town council. I thank them for their support. I wish these two people good luck in their, in their endeavors. I know that they will both do a great job on behalf of our township. I'll be back in just a minute. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping tax dollars in our own community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by Brookside Florist, the Coffee Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, Healthy Times Market, H&H &H Auto Parts, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in, we're local. Welcome back. There's a tremendous amount of correspondence that comes across this desk, and uh, recently I uh, received a copy of the demographic study update that was commissioned by the Vernon Township School District. Um, this statistical, this um, update was done by Statistical Forecasting LLC, and uh, it was prepared by a, a, a Dr. Richard S. Grip in July of 2013, and I rarely comment on school or Board of Education issues. Um, certainly, uh, the, the Board of Education is autonomous, as you all know, but they do represent 
the largest part of your property tax. As a matter of fact, out of every dollar that we collect here in town hall from your property tax, 60 cents goes to the school. The budget for the Vernon Township School District is well in excess of $70 million a year. I'm very aware um, that whenever a conversation about spending for the schools come up, that oftentimes our teachers and the employees in the, in, in the school district um, feel as though uh, they're being threatened. My comments that I'm about to make are in no way designed to threaten or to be aimed at our teachers. They are fine people who do a great job. But the information that is in this statistical study shows very clearly that the Vernon School District population is shrinking and it's shrinking rapidly. From 2006 and until 2013, we have lost over 400 and 20 students, and the projection is that that will continue to happen. The 2012-2013 school year saw a population of 3,640 students. In 1986, when I was the mayor in Vernon for the very first time, we had just under 6,000 students in Vernon Township. And we had gone through a tremendous expansion, and, and that's one of the reasons why we have the six school buildings that we have. I believe that when you look at your tax bill and you look at where that, those tax dollars are going, it is reasonable to remind the Board of Education that they have a responsibility to the taxpayers as well as to the students. We now have less than 25% of the households in this township sending children to the school district, being supported by 75% of the people who are having trouble paying their property tax. And so I would commend to anyone who's interested the information that's been provided to the school district and encourage the school board to look at that information very, very carefully and make some of the tough decisions that need to be made on behalf of the entire community. 3,600 students by the end of this four-year cycle down to 3,200 students. That's basically half of what we had at the peak. It's time that the decisions be made about whether or not we need to have six schools operating in Vernon Township. I hope that the upcoming election, which includes three seats on the school board, will provide the debate and the discussion in public so that people can make an informed decision as to who they want to represent them on that school board. I'll be back in just a minute. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping tax dollars in our own community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by Brookside Florist, the Coffee Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, Healthy Times Market, H&H &H Auto Parts, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint Hardware. Come in, we're local. Welcome back. I mentioned earlier that the political season has started and uh, by this time anyone who reads the newspapers knows that uh, uh, former Mayor Sally Rinker has decided that she's going to be a candidate for the Vernon Township Council and uh, I welcome that and I wish her good luck. Um, I have refrained in the past from commenting upon the lawsuit that she and Mrs. Lynn Van Gorder filed against me personally in the township concerning the uh, merit bonuses that were paid to Vernon. Uh, employees in 2012, um, but our response now is public, and I want to address that issue square on with you, the people in Vernon Township. I read the newspaper articles, I read the comments that were being made, and I would say this to you. 
There's no slap in the face to anyone. The slap in the face comes from people who mislead you. In the beginning of 2012, when in fact the town council passed a salary range ordinance, which is required by the state statutes and the DCA, Department of Community Affairs, petitioners took it upon themselves to ask you to sign a petition and put a ballot question on the ballot. Technically, from a legal point of view, um, the 90 percent of you who voted that ballot question down, that ordinance down, probably didn't even realize that if I wanted to, under the law, I still could have given people raises. I chose not to do that because I understood your sediment. However, the merit bonus, uh, performance bonuses, was a program that was instituted early in 2012. A complete evaluation was done, and by the way, in conversations with former town manager and my business administrator, Jerry Gimes, he informed me that the former mayor constantly was asking for this kind of a program when she was the mayor. Now I've implemented it, and as a result of it, paid people bonuses. There's a difference between a bonus and a raise. A raise is something that gets paid every single year. A raise has implications for pension as well as for overall budgeting purposes. A bonus is very clearly paid for performance, measured performance, good business management. Please don't let rhetoric affect your thought process because the $66,000 that was paid out to some 22 employees for their performance, do your math. The amount of money per person is, is basically uh, very modest. But more importantly, those people were, in fact, let me back up, you people were taxed for those people's raises for four years and they were never given to the people. Let me repeat it. You people were taxed for four years and the employees never received those raises. You want to talk about a slap in the face? It's a slap in the face when your government doesn't, thinks that you don't know enough about what they're doing to realize that they're taking your money and they're not using it for the purposes that they tell you they're going to use it for. Now, I'm sure that there are many of you out there who, no matter what I have to say, are going to disagree with my decision. That's part of the American process. I make no apology for it. It's good business management. The people who work in this town hall are productive and continue to produce savings for you. How do you think we've been able to reduce the property taxes in Vernon Township for two years in a row? And from the looks of it, we should be able to do it again for 2014. It's because people, the managers, the department heads and division heads recognize that there is a better way of doing things. And if they do a better job, that there's not only recognition, but a reward for it. The very basis and the very premises that the American economic system is based upon. Don't let political rhetoric affect your thinking about how this town is being managed and how this government is being run. It's as professional as if it's ever been, and every single day we solve problems, address issues, and bring you better service for less money something I'm sure that all of you will hear more about as we go forward in this campaign. I'll be back in a minute. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping tax dollars in our own community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by Brookside Florist, the Coffee Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, Healthy Times Market, H&H &H Auto Parts, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in, we're local. Welcome back.
When I picked up this past week's issue of AIM and opened it, there was a half-page ad there that was funded by the Vernon Ta Taxpayer Association, President Sally Rinker, Vice President Lynn Van Gorder. And when I began to read what was in that ad, I, I just shook my head. I cannot believe that these people don't understand enough about the, the governmental process that they would make the kinds of blatantly misleading statements that were made in that ad. If you were to just pick up that paper and read the ad, you might think that, you know, um, there was some kind of uh, hoodwinking going on here concerning the senior affordable housing in Vernon Township. So let me set the record straight, if I may. There is no provision in the New Jersey land use law for a zone specifically designated for affordable housing. The affordable housing law and, and its tenants are an outgrowth of the Council on Affordable Housing, which was brought into state law some time ago. What the township had to do was to provide a zone for certain kinds of housing that would in fact meet the criteria for COA, Council on Affordable Housing. The new town center um, zoning ordinance met that criteria. The application that was brought before the Land Use Board, which was given a full hearing, and in fact, which had many of the people who are members of the VTA present, whose questions were answered concerning this issue of age restriction. Yes, the zone is age restricted housing. And yes, the approval was given by the Land Use Board for age restricted housing. That's the first step. As part of that hearing, the principals from Theta 456 on the record testified that they would immediately begin to seek the approval and the financing necessary from the state and the federal government to be sure that this beautiful building would in fact have 55 units and affordable senior housing in that building. This kind of advertisement just smacks of the very kind of communication that we've come to receive from the Vernon Taxpayer Association. Starting in 2010, when they were the proponents and the movers and shakers behind changing the government, they never once told you when they told you that you were going to get to vote for your mayor uh, in a popular vote, that that also would make the mayor the chief executive officer, someone who was not a member of the council. They never bothered to educate you. At the time, what was going on in this town, we all felt like a change was needed. But when they didn't win the election with their people, all of a sudden, well, there's something wrong with this government. You know, there's too much power in this mayor's chair. I make no excuses for being your chief executive and making the kind of decisions that I make. There's always room for disagreement, but there is not room for denigration. There is not room for disparagement. There is not room for misleading the people as these people seem to do repeatedly. I'll close my comments about them with this statement. I have said repeatedly in the past, and I will repeat now, the Vernon Taxpayer Association has taken donations and expended money for political purposes in this community since 2010. They have never filed with the New Jersey Commission on Election Law. They have never filed any reports as to who donates or where the money is spent. They are a, an illegal political action committee. Beware of what you read and what they print. I thank you for paying attention this evening. I'm sure that there are going to be some people upset with my comments. It's not my intent, but disseminating the facts as they exist is important for all of you to understand. There's a political campaign going on, and the last thing I'm going to say is this. I'm not up for election. The council is up for election. Do not allow the disparagement of the mayor to impact on the great job that the present council has done on your behalf. Have a good evening. I'll look forward to talking to you in the next session of Vernon Vibes.